Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to show you guys what my life is like as a student in university, also trying to bulk up in the gym. Basically just gonna show you guys what I do for food, for training, all that stuff to stay productive. So let's get going. Okay, what's up guys? So we just got to the gym. First things first today, we're just gonna hit a workout. I never trained this early, but kind of wanted to switch it up today. We're gonna to do some push. So honestly, let's just get straight into this workout. I'm trying to get a pump. I had some caffeine, so let's go. Yo, what's up guys? So I just finished up on some incline dumbbell press for the chest. I might actually do a little bit of back today, but I'm basically just focusing on those aesthetic muscle groups. So like shoulders, upper chest, lats, cause I'm trying to build up that X frame. Gonna get on with the rest of the workout. So far, so good. All right guys, so we just finished up at the gym, went for a little sauna after the workout, and uh, yeah, all done. And we are back from the gym. I'm hungry, so let's make some food. Hello. Hello. product we got this delicious tropical fruit smoothie i'll pop up the exact ingredients right there this has a pretty good amount of calories and really easily digestible carbohydrates so it's super good to have directly after your workout when your glycogen stores need to be replenished now as delicious as this will be it has literally no protein in it so i'm going to quickly whip up some beef as well and then i'm going to eat everything all at once Now I got the protein, which already looks delicious as it is, but I've got some secret condiments that I'm gonna put on it to make it taste even better. French's yellow mustard, literally has zero calories, so if you guys are cutting, great option. And 
Tabasco. Now this is actually just sriracha, but it's the Tabasco brand sriracha and it tastes way better than the normal one, in my opinion. So I literally just squirt this on with the mustard and I enjoy my beef. Final product is an easy 1000 calories and I'm actually really looking forward to eating this. So I'll check in with you guys when I'm done. Hey, what's up guys? It's been a couple hours since I finished my food. Uh, I basically just chilled out after the gym, digested that meal. I wanted to take a little bit to relax. Now I'm back in action. So I'm on a quick little walk right now just to kind of clear my head, keep my energy levels up because I was starting to kind of plateau and feel sluggish and I hate when that happens. Now it was kind of raining earlier. Suddenly the weather has become super nice. The sun came out again. It's like 8 p.m. now. I'm debating going down to the sea and going for a dip in the water. It's pretty cold, but figure I might as well. I am gonna get one more quick meal in though before I do any of that, just because the bulk takes priority. Gonna head back now, make some more food and let's go. Okay, change of plans. I did lie, I know I said the meal takes priority. I did get some food. But these do have 500 calories in one bag. But yeah, we're just gonna go for a swim now. So we're nearly there. It's like a 20 minute walk to get to the beach we're going to. We thought we might've gone to this little bay, but the tide is really low and you usually have to jump off to go in there. So we're gonna keep going ahead to the beach. It's uphill, so it's a little bit of cardio. Yo, where'd you get those shorts? <laughs> the answer is those are mine. He took those from my wardrobe. Didn't even use Code Lee. How rude of you. <laughs> Yo, what are you doing wearing that like that? <laughs> That's where we're going, you guys, down there. It's a ridiculous amount of cardio. I'm actually just not in shape to do this. All right, we made it to the bridge. This is a point of no return. We walk over here across the train tracks and we're in, so let's go. I almost broke my ankle for that bit, but we got it. Ooh, that's a long way down. I look like a founding father right now, but we completed the swim. It actually wasn't even that cold today, so I'd consider that a success. Gonna have to walk home in the towel and the sandals. So we have returned and yeah, made it home in one piece. Current time is 10.26 p.m. So I'm gonna make another meal and uh, keep the calories rolling. These bad boys, slap. Got some gluten-free pasta here for the carbohydrates for this meal. I'm also gonna whip up some more beef with that. So I've got my pasta all cooked up. I'm gonna cook up my beef as well and then I'm gonna mix like the beef fat, the beef, pasta, and I might even do like some garlic as well and just kind of make this big concoction. I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out so we're gonna experiment. So, update. I've got the main component of this meal, which is pasta and beef, ready to go. Now over here, in the leftover beef fat that's in the pan, I'm gonna cook up some onions. I also have some garlic here that I'm gonna chop up when this onion is a little more cooked. And we're gonna see how it tastes. If it's gas, you guys can make it yourself, and it's a win-win. All right, you guys. So finished product, it's actually really good. The onions add like a nice sweetness. It's still a little bit dry, so I'm probably gonna add like my own sauce to it, but definitely try whipping up some onion and garlic in your normal meals. Just spice it up a little bit. Makes it better.
Okay. All clean. Recently, I've been going to the gym like five, six times a week. I've really been pushing the intensity and that can kind of diminish your recovery if you're consistently doing that. So with that being said, the bed right there has been my best friend. Something that's definitely overlooked by I think a lot of people who work out is that going to the gym and training super intensely, it doesn't just kind of impede your recovery temporarily, but it can actually kind of impede your immunity and just your overall body will be taxed and it'll be just kind of weaker when you're existing in that recovery period. So if you're working out and you're training hard, you owe it to yourself to get good quality sleep. I mean, I remember back when I was like a freshman in college, I used to deadlift and I would go until absolute brutal failure on like drop sets of heavy deadlifts. And if I didn't get a good night's sleep that week, I would actually get sick because my central nervous system would be so weak after that. So this is where we're at with the bulk right now, you guys. I'm honestly feeling really solid. Strength has been pretty good uh, in the actual workouts I've been doing. Now, obviously, you know, my back has been a weak point for me, but I do feel like I'm kind of filling out uh, the density in the lower parts of my lats as well. So yeah, we're getting there. Anyways, guys, that is gonna be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to drop a like. Helps out the channel a ton. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.